Hey everybody, Sanisap here, bringing you a one versus one cast here on Mill Road. Apparently, the only one versus one map where there is medical supplies for you to pick up up in the top corner. Oh yeah. Anyway, today's match is between uh, the Austria and the Soviets. Private Salty, bringing with him the standard bulletins and. Well, not standard, but the default ones. And word bearers. Who has the extended Faust range and um, increased accuracy for the assault grenadiers. And uh, word bearers had already locked in his German infantry truck tent. So we won't see any uh, assault grenadiers from him. Anyway. Grenadiers pouring out onto the field. Going straight for the fuel. Meanwhile, Private Salty has split his forces up. Each one going to their direction. Double engineers capping uh, the munition here. So um, we'll probably uh, see flamethrowers uh, soon. Anyway, focus switches for Private Salty as he moves up north to grab more territory. Digging in with the conscripts setting up sandbags. Engineers moving up to cap the VP. And yeah, word bearers just. Oh, just missed that. Had to go back and get the fuel. There we go. Fuel is back. And let's see um, how the match goes. We are gonna see the first engagement here as the combat engineers have found their first target. MG setting up and the combat engineers just decides to bail because. Spotted the Grenadiers, no way they could uh, win that fight against uh, GMG with Grenadier support. Meanwhile, at the middle, Conscripts taking the heavy cover, getting some good uh, shots on um, these Grenadiers here. By the way, Private Salty, it's, he's not a completely new account, but uh, looking at his um, stats, then his prestige, he had no, uh, none of those prestige stars, but he certainly is playing uh, like someone who knows what he's doing, as he's uh, also cutting off Wordbearer's uh, fuel point here. So, uh, yeah, Wordbearer's sending in the Grenadier squad, looking to get the decap off his fuel as well. And here we go. Grenadier's moving up. Just to engage and push these conscripts off. Should be, a, should be a good victory for the Axis here. Meanwhile, here, Pioneers find the combat engineers and the Pioneers are already low. Down to two models. They might lose that engagement. Oh, but here, Flamethrowers, as expected, needs to retreat them and does so nicely. And MG from somewhere down here. Got the suppression off of those grenadiers. Now, MG is setting up here pretty close. And uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, grenade, not firing, firing. Not enough to get the suppression on. Unlucky there. Very unlucky. Very unlucky. Private Salty brings his flamethrower up and sprays those salty flames on Werbera, who is. Sent right back to base, but down here, Grenadiers move a little too close to the sun. Um, MG bunkers, and get pinned in the process. Uh, the enemy is firing that's on our that's bad. Anyway, they uh, can expect to see. Uh, nope, they might run the other way. And private salty. Has gotten word bearers in a base lockdown. But it's yet to take up. We are nearing the fifth minute mark. And then again, neither has Private Salty. Yes, he, he is getting his med bunker. By the looks of it, yeah, his grenadiers will definitely benefit from that. Anyway. Communism has flooded the map, most of it is red, and Private Salty is taking his time to lay down some surprises for the Axis forces once they get out of their base. Anyway, 
Private Salty knocking in. Got rifle combined and tactics. So, um. Uh, maybe we'll see guards. Maybe we'll see KV1 heavy tanks. We'll probably, definitely see that. Probably, definitely. Yeah, that sounds smart. Anyway, out of the base, got a minesweeper on, but, uh. It's spot that mine! Ooh! Yeah. Paid the price by using his troops as a minesweeper unknowingly. Okay. Support weapon going up here, and he'll probably take up. Yeah, definitely. There we go. And good fuel income, so um, probably going for the T70. Anyway, conscripts finds a nice MG sitting there, and they try to dance around the house, but gets discovered by these grenadiers who are there to help out the MG. And there we go. Gets the fire on one conscript squad, and they run. Anyway, oh! Stormtroopers have been uh, summoned to the field. Get the decap on uh, on the fuel and are currently... Yeah, they're pushing them back. Nice. Good play there from uh, Word Bears and decides not to risk it uh, to cap the fuel here. Instead he rather retreats and so he can reinforce uh, that uh, squad instead of uh, potentially losing it. Minesweeper moves up, sweeps for mines, is very close to the medical supplies. Anyway, um, everything is pretty much quiet right now, as both teams have healed up, reinforced, heading back out on the field, well, mostly reinforced, but getting there, and yeah, Private Salty is moving up to grab his uh, fuel back putting down some mines while doing so, and there we go, there's the retreat, he... Yeah, okay, Bird Bears has escalated to battle phase run, so... But will he go for a 2-2-2 two, two, two at this stage? Or maybe he's just setting it up so he can get a, a pack gun out when he needs to? Who knows? We are losing a sector! A little strike force going up here, MG covering the um, Grenadiers as they advance on the fuel point. Mine is there though, and here we are. He should be aware of the the, the wave, yeah, MG packing up, looking to get the reposition. Strong force here for Private Salty, but if that MG can catch them and pin them in one go, but nope, might not be so lucky, more Soviet troops. Swarming the MG. The MG is left with very little support here. Gets... Oh, nice. Very nice. He actually did it. One of them retreats. Other one got pinned. Guards moving in. Good for a grenade. MG retreats just in time. Meanwhile, down here... Where have we? There we go. There's the stormtroopers. Got some damage on them. And, yep. Private Salty is sent running back to his base. He has ticked up, but... And he has just acquired enough fuel for the T-70, which he should go for. Should definitely go for that. Word bearers forcing those combat engineers with the flamethrower out of that garrison. Here we go, stormtroopers returning to the point of insertion. The fuel point, but... Finds himself outgunned by two conscript squad uh, combat engineers. Won't be sticking around there. Shame he didn't plant the mine there just to bait him in. Yeah, well. There we go. T70 smoke. Nice. Anyway, he's got the decap on. And this time he, he stays there with full model support. More help moving up, but then again, just a pioneer squad with minesweepers, so uh, not much firepower being brought there. And Private Salty spots the low grenadier squad. He will get them on the retreat path. 
And there we go. Oh, that T-17 is doing so much damage. Oh, they're so low right for the picking. The Codscript Squad could also target them if they get them down. Oh, that was... Yeah, that was an expensive loss for Woodbears. Conscript Squad did make it out of their life. It has ticked up. AT gun is in the works. The private salty sees the tick structure. But then again, he should expect that. The Lactam Mechanized Compania. What? Telemine! Okay! The new anti-tank gun has arrived. Cheeky cheeky Telemine. And there we go! We are back to where we were before, except... Woodbearers is down one uh, Stormtrooper squad and Private Salty is down one T-70. All in all, I'd say that was uh, Woodbearers who got the better trade there. Trading a, a T-70 for a Stormtrooper squad. Good trade uh, for Woodbearers there. Anyway, T-43 rifles coming up, and, huh, yep, with the uh, veteran squad leader, that's why there were no interrogation icon down here, but then again, who has time to interrogate people when there's a war to be fought? And there we go, retreating, these guys also very low, he should retreat them to avoid Losing more manpower. Oh, come on, why is he so slow? That one last model. Oh, and there we go. Slow guy eats the bullet. Oh, come on. Those those spots are so low, you're gonna lose models if you stay there. So, we're back again where the map is starting to equalize a bit. And MG here. In the middle of nowhere. How good is that spotting? Not very good. These are not pathfinders on DMG, obviously. But I still see something and catch someone walking straight into the uh, line of fire. Okay, more action at the uh, cutoff point. Guards have moved up. Catching an AT gun on the field and might get the D crew here. Yeah. One model down goes down and the third model is about to go down there we go d crew pack gun grenadiers swarm the place is met by a uh, conscripts who's taking pot shop there them as they move the long way around to get to these um, guards here and is he lining up a rifle grenade it's a good target yep there we go and private salty caught that grenade with his hands Back in the middle, minesweep is going up, sweeping for mines, and this gun is in place, ready to take on any armor or just light artillery barrage the crap out of any support weapons nearby. And okay, he didn't grab that misclick, or maybe just he wanted to decap. I don't know. I don't know. P4 in the works for uh, work bearers. And Private Salty, get to take up. There we go. Doing a cis barrage on a moving target, okay. Optimistic. And there we go. MG has been spotted. Won't get the setup that uh, Wood Bearers wanted. And here we are again, middle, seeing some action as the uh, combat engineers move danger close to the uh, conscript, uh, not conscript squad, the grenadier squad, and he might lose them. Yeah, dead. Good pickup from wood bears there. P4 strolling onto the field. Siskon is in place with guard support. Vehicle buttoned. There's no smoke for him to use. Ah, second Siskon not hitting the target and P4 limps out of there. More fuel harassment going on here. 
as Private Salty eats the fuel to get his own tank out on the field. Can now attack tanks with AT grenades. AT grenades just been ticked. Very good, very good. Now he just needs to take up, get his own fuel. Grenadiers not sticking around to cap the fuel point though. Private Salty returning the favor to decapping the work bearer's fuel. And the Red Army is very close to um, work bearer's base. But fortunately, Panzer IV is there, but so is the Siskon. Not fully repaired yet. Siskon takes a good hit and is getting focused by these grenadiers. But a grenade comes in there, forcing them to move away. Now in the retreat, another shot on the Panzer IV. He could lose his P4 if he stays parked in front of the Siskon. Attack ground going in there for Private Salty, but not overshooting. Instead, just hitting the dirt. We must defend our headquarters. Back here. MG moves out, sets up. Can he even shoot through that? Yep, he can. There we go, suppressed. You may see some base annihilation, a little bit of it going on here. As the Siskon is targeting the infantry company, but... Nope, a barrage! Yes! Oh, that could have been... Gonna be so good. <laughs> and... What? Okay. Uh, yeah, needs to move forward or backwards, just not staying there where the uh, shells are hitting. <clears throat> Back here, grabbing the fuel, which will be connected. Even though he does not have his caught up, but then again he lost his own fuel down here. And yeah, we have seen the tech up here for Private Salty. More guards being called into the field, yep, there we go. And they can sort of take a small, uh, small chunk of self out of the uh, Panzer IV until he gets his own uh, tanks out. Meanwhile, Word Bearers was doing a helping hands cap right there, but finally moved in to cap the point probably, but is engaged by these guard squads. Could just throw a grenade. Yep, there we go. Grenade. But he moves out of there just in time. Won't get the decap though, and he certainly won't win this engagement, but. Got a few models of them, but now he should consider running. Fortunately for him, he won't have to run through this uh, Maxim here. And it's the Battle of the MGs, and um, yeah, that MG just packed off. That's a four. And look, look how clumped they are up against this heavy cover. If that, that P4 gets a good shot on him, he could wipe up plenty of them, but fortunately, Private Salty moves his uh, Maxim away from the, the wall here. More troops being swarmed in. Siskon left a little bit undefended there for a few seconds, fortunately. Conscripts are moving up and was expecting a, a flank there, but nope. P4 not going that way. Instead, just sticks around. Guarding the middle VP, takes out the well. And if we look at the VP, it's actually uh, quite even if we look at the points, though Word Bearers is leading slightly, roughly 50 points. Again with the Siskon, that Siskon has just been on point, already up to Veteran C2, very good. And overshooting those. But, gets out of there. Triple cap for Word Bearers now. The bleed is on for Private Salty. Man, he needs a doctor, a nurse, or a medic to stop that bleeding, but fortunately he does so. With his combat engineers, they can build a bandage, a bandage to uh, stop the bleeding. Something like that. I don't know. Second P4 coming out here for Word Bearers, and we have yet to see Private Salty get his own tank out on the field. Could he be saving up for a KV1? KV1, KV1. There we go. Probably. Ooh, guards with the grenade. Don't, they don't have their uh, machine gun upgrade just yet. The other squad has. And most of uh, Private Salty's forces are in retreat. Needs to get back to base, heal up, and get reinforced. This group of conscript squads just moving out, and here we are. Combat engineers on a special mission for Stalin. 
grab this munition point at all cost even if you are deep into enemy territory with no support and enemies swarming the field and the grenadiers are closing in he should just run oh oh no 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 he's pla trying to plant a trip flare mine but was discovered he he needs to get out of there it's it's not worth losing that that two squad over a munition point calls the retreat in time and he should be able to get out of there. Meanwhile, Private Salty recapping the south. Thus turning the VP drain on word bearers. But then again, these Panzer Fours have something to say about that and prevents him from capping the south from VP. And he has to pull back Siskon. His Siskon play is on point. Private Salty again with the Siskon pushing two. P4 is uh, a, f a little bit back. They are looking to get the flank on. He has his own. And KB1 is in the works for Private Salty. Guards are there as well. With the uh, conscript who can throw an AT grenade. Shoot for an AT grenade. There we go. Very good. Guards taking a beating. Missing that front P4. It limps out of there. Other P4 is there to cover. Gets to safety. Uh, at least a little bit. There's just uh, got rifles with the PTRS. Should shouldn't just linger around though. Oh no no no! This could be a fatal mistake for uh, wood bearers. As the P4 takes another hit. Fortunately, uh, out of control. Out of control. It's losing that. And gets the D crew. But yeah. Uh, Limps out of the, the, the Siskon's field of fire. KV-1 found good infantry there. And yeah. Empty bales. P4 badly needs... Excuse me. Badly need repairs. Siskon got out of there. And where, where did the pack go? Where did his pack go? Oh, it's back here. Oh yeah, he needs that pack to penetrate this uh, heavy tank. Doing some gardening, just removes some plantation. Uh oh. Gets caught up. Switch it that. Yeah, I think uh, Private Salty could take out, but bounce, bounce, another bounce. Maxim also getting a few bullets in there, another bounce. Oh. This is all his AT that Word Bearers has on this field. Ah. Pioneers getting shredded. He should just roll into the base. Just retreat back into the base. Okay. Pack gun sets up and the KB-1 backs her off. Okay, close call there for word bearers. Uh, there we go. Trip flares being planted by Private Salty. Good use of his utilities. Ooh, 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 he could decide to stay there and target them. They're easy to uh, pick off models when they're repairing. But decides not to risk it. Word Bears spent his remaining stockpile of fuel for another P4. Meanwhile, Private Salty giving ever so closer to uh, his uh, second tank. Might just go for another uh, KB1 heavy tank. Seeing as the pack gun is only the reliable source to penetrate uh, its thick armor. And here we go. Sis Barrage firing. Boom. And yeah. Not a good place for a pack gun, nor a T70. And yes. Hopefully not forgotten. Moves in just to uh, get them out. Oh, fragmentation bomb. Nice. Pushing the 
Uh, I might not get anything. Yeah. Oh, the cruiser. This is gone. Good win. There we go. It's, uh, second penalty. Getting those armor squares at the group. Perfect tracking. But then again, KB1. Up to the one. Badly damaged. Takes out the Siskon. Just preventing a private salty from uh, recruiting it and does have to make a new one, costing him much more manpower than if he just had to re recruit it. Anyway, Triple Mind going off, getting him some good line of sight. Private Salty's KB1 continues to drop down on health, just can't catch a break. Uh, he sends in the uh, unvetted uh, P4, just bouncing, losing uh, the engine there on the P4. Other P4 joins the fray. Uh, Maxim is pushed back, did manage to suppress and pin the Grenadier squad, so they'll be out of action for a little while, meanwhile the guards are coming up here, getting the flank of the MG, MG sets up and runs away, no grenade coming onto them. And everything is, well I was gonna say everything is quiet, but Grenadiers and the guards are not done yet. Yeah. Single conscript squad moving out here, but they'll yeah they'll also be pushed back by these by these grand uh, not grand yes, by these conscripts, and both armies are currently licking their wounds. Where is Private Salty's infantry? Here, okay, not down there. I see, I see. Just setting up. It's gonna be a battle for the middle VP by the looks of it. And Private Salty is ready. And he's not going for a second KV, uh, KV-1 tank. But the second tank is definitely on the way. New Siskon on the field. Filling the shoes of the old one. Just hammering the P4s down. KV-1. Destroys the tractor. Still zero vehicle kills, but infantry kills continue to rise as he has reached veterancy 2. Better control over the vehicle's main gun, improve the targeting, and rate of fire. Here we go T 34 rolling onto the field to help the Soviets against the battle of these P 4s. So yeah, mm. a decent army composition by Private Salty, a uh, good one for wood bearers. Um, question is, will we see rocket artillery? Will it be needed? As wood bearers has gone uh, with two pack guns and now two MGs. And if uh, we're gonna fight over the middle VP, then rocket artillery could definitely benefit uh, both teams. Sneaky P4 comes around, turns around, starts gunning the KV-1. But uh, KV-1 is extra thick on the armored side, but not thick enough to deal with the double pack gun who are basically uh, merged together into one super pack gun and there we go T-34 finds the merged pack gun entity and he backs out of there oh he's gonna get fausted is it worth it nope he decides to try to run the gauntlet and yeah then again a faust probably wouldn't have killed it but yeah he, he was dead lost that squad now let's see up here. No escalation to battle phase free yet. And Private Salty has the fuel, just needs the manpower to go for a Katusha. But let's see what he what he goes for once he's I think he'll do it. I mean, there's a definitely a viable targets on the on the field.
And I have to say that camouflage is ugly. Very ugly. Anyway, KV1 eating some sludges. Getting down to half health, but nothing there to chase, nothing to add to push in. As both P4s are a little bit hurt. No infantry support. They are down here. Maximus is setting up. P4 goes in, lost the pack gun, sadly. And has to be careful not to lose that. Guards are picking them off. Yikes. Maxim firing away on this pack gun who is in the, within the arc of fire, but gets out of there in time before losing another model. Siskon continues to beat the crap out of the P4s. Oh, is he uh, attacking ground? Mm, shot blocker, probably. Yeah, there we go. No tick up there. Nothing in the works here. And again, Private Salty's manpower income is low. Word bearers is a bit higher. And we are stuck in pit, pit stop as the P4 needs maintenance. And there we go, Katusha in the works for Private Salty. His tanks fully repaired, infantry moving up, he's ready to push in. Yeah, and the uh, triple cap. Now, Word Bears is bleeding. What will his response be? I mean, he has a um, good fuel stockpile. Just needs some more manpower and then perhaps take up. And here we go. Skill planes for Private Salty. Targeting the infantry. They're quick to fall back. Look at all that blood! Katusha joins the blood bath. The bloody fields. Turret gunners trying to target the. Uh, Conscript squad. Oh no 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 no! Why? It was so low. Immobilized. Crew shocked. He is pushing in, sacrificing his T34. In the process, KB1 not doing, not taking any damage. Oh, vision damage to death. That was an underwhelming uh, fragmentation bombing run. Didn't uh, get much of the um, uh, the conscripts, but here we go. KB1. Might have chewed off a bit more than it could handle, but it's thick armor and support from the AT gun is saving it. Plus the planes in the sky. Okay, no, oh, just loses the P4. It. It's got its veterancy free, and where Paris is down to no AT. He has his pack gun there. He can recruit him. The KV1 is limping out of there. Katusha, not there yet. Content to stay in base and um, so uh, as fuel as manpower, he's just pushing in. He is probably a bit stressed out uh, from uh, losing three VPs from each tick. More guards coming in here. Yeah, it's not looking good. He's try. He's trying to push up. He's go for uh, the Danke shoots. Double Stooks being ordered. Who gets? Finds the KV1. Just another Wally. Nope. MG firing on the Maxim. Maxim's firing on something. Getting pinned. Katusha coming in. Oh, da -da 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 -da. gets the KV1, but loses at least one, two. One of them got destroyed and is within the MG's reach. Uh, cancels the Stooks. Now that the KV-1 is down, goes for another P4. Low on infantry. Meanwhile, Private uh, Salty has the bit ar army composition. Also has enough fuel to call another tank. There we go. Another one is in the works. Another KV-1 is in the works for Private Salty. And 
There we go. Both, both pack guns down. Supply sector under attack. Replacing his lost infantry down to 100 point. Doing his best to uh, hold the bleeding, get his fuel back with the pioneers who are down two models. It's looking very bad. Veterancy squad leader going up here has to spend the remaining of his uh, munitions on that upgrade. So, uh, yeah, we, we won't be seeing uh, any fra more fragmentation bombs, at least for a while, if the match goes on for that long. As Word Bears continues to uh, uh, bleed points slowly but steadily. P4 is here to save the day, but so is the Siskan. Petition moving up. What is he doing? He's not even ready to fire yet. Is he going for it? To attack the base? Getting dangerously close to that P4. Doesn't have vision on it, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Nope. Yeah, there we go. No vision. But that was ages ago. Never mind. Yeah. Lord Bear is getting desperate. Pushing his P4 forward with the damage engine. Siskon is hunting the P4. Grenadier is getting suppressed by this Maxim. Still within the arc of fire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And here comes the KV1. Spelling the Doom for the Axis. And boom. There we go. Everyone down. He has the fuel. Doesn't have the manpower. Barely has any VPs left. And that's game. In the end, Word Bearers couldn't hold out against the uh, Soviet tide. It just kept on pushing and pushing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you liked uh, this cast, like and subscribe. If you disliked it, disliked it, yada, yada, yada. Something about a bill and... Uh, See you next time. Bye.